invoice designing in MS Excel. When we learn about MS Excel, after that the main format on which we work, on that case, we face problems in designing any documents on MS Excel. As basically we know on MS Excel, we work on functions and calculations. So, after that, when we go on designing, we face some issues there. So, in today's class, we will learn how we can design an inbox or a pad pattern and arrange all our content properly in the center. For example, billing copy or customer list. So, including all this, how we can design in a pad format that we are going to learn in this class. So, let's begin today's class. The most important thing for designing a document is the page format. So, previously in our MS Excel program, as we have different types of rows and columns in our MS Excel, so that's why we don't have the perfect idea of our page format. Like what is the perfect pattern for A4 format which we use for printing? Idea of page formatting is very important for making PDF and printing. The simplest thing we can do is to go to page layout. Then after that from size option, we will go and select the A4 option. After clicking, we will see a dot dot pattern has appeared beside I. If we scroll and go down, then we can see that after 50, a border has been given here. So now the purpose of these two borders is that this will give us an idea about the A4 size format. So to make our work easy, we have set this earlier and we also have an idea about the boundary on which we have to work. Now the second stage is the header at the top. For any documents, we have three parts. The first one is header in which we have logo, location, mobile number, address. The second part is the content on which we have bill detail, customer details or customer list. And the last part is the footer which we have at the below. So in this way, we have three parts, header, center and footer. If you want, you can design your header at first. In case of MS Excel, designing header at the last is better because if our cells increase, then we have to make some adjustments. Okay, now let's see if we reduce some cells from here means the document sheet that you're going to prepare either bill or customer list or anything. So here we have to add some cells. One is SL then full name and let's write here. We write SL here. Then we will write name. The main reason for this is we want to merge it. It will be easier for us if we decide a number of cell we need. Then we will write mobile number. Then we will write address. It doesn't mean that it ends here. For making our work easier to set all these, let's arrange these properly. So name, mobile and address. Now see, our margin is fixed here so it won't move. Whereas our cells are movable. And this one is fixed. So now we have this much space left after giving name, mobile and address. Let's give amount here then. For example, we will give due amount here and set it accordingly. So now our border for A4 is fixed here. Now for decorating, we can give some colors in this border. Let's give it some background color. Let's give it off-white color. Now we have kept the upper part for a header. So at first we will select this whole place and merge and center it. Now we can see that it has been merged and centered. The first problem to be faced in Excel is, wait, let's save the file first. So the first problem in Excel is the line in which we write. Here enter does not work. Even if we give shift plus enter then also it won't work. Basically line break or enter does not work in Excel while working here. This is because Excel is used for functions. And in functions we don't need line break or enter. So what can we do now? As I told earlier we will work with designs. And we have to be smart and work with some tricks. So now the trick is, as we have enough space here, we will now take a shape. So let's go to insert. As my screen is small, so it is appearing like this now. We will go to the shape tool. From the shape tool, we will select one shape. Okay. So after choosing one shape, our header has been separated. So we can either keep the color or remove it totally. It is up to us. If we want, we can color it white. As we have the shape tool, we can do anything that we want with the shape. If we want, we can keep a colorful header or even keep it as it is. After that, we will go to the text box. 
The reason I am not showing all these things in detail is because I have already talked about all these things in detail in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen those videos, you can go and see our entire MS Excel series, that too in free. Now, let's start our design. For example, if we write here Shikhan, then we will enlarge this. So let's go to home. Then here we will expand this and then we will place this in center. Here if we give shift enter, our writing will come down now. Now, here if we want, we can write address. You can give your own address here. We can select this enlarged writing and we can reduce it in size like this. And now we will give the full address here. After that, you can give the required contact number if you want. We are writing call and then our mobile number. Okay. Now we will give email address. If enter does not work, then we will give shift plus enter for the line break. Here we will give company email. Now to check whether everything is perfect or not, we will go to print preview. We will go to file. Then we will go to print to check whether we have chose the correct border or not. As we see, our frame is perfect and our entire page format is going great. Now what we have to check is margin and page layout which we have already learned in our previous videos if we want to reduce our margin. In this way, we can reduce and increase our margin. See here, we have reduced our margin. That's why it has been suppressed. So we will increase it a bit. And here we will enlarge our address a little bit. Then we'll suppress this a little bit. Now all our content is in the center. So here we will provide our content accordingly. Then we will have to write here 1, then press enter, then 2 and 3. We will keep everything in the same ratio and place it in center. Then we will click on A and go to home and do alignment in center. Then here serial wise we will put all the names here. Then we will give mobile number. When we give the mobile number it will go towards the right side. So we have to format this now. We will go to home and keep this as general or we can keep it as text. Now if we write zero, it will appear on the screen. In this way, we will give everything mobile address and arrange this. And finally comes the footer. This is the line of the footer. As we have learned, if we want to make our footer, we will merge this in center. Then we'll go to insert. Again, we'll take a shape tool. If we don't need any line break, we'll not need to take shape tool. So if you want to keep the footer in one line, you don't need the shape tool. Now let's give a background color to our shape. We will reduce this cell one bit. Now if we want to write something in one line, we will write this. And after writing it, we will be keeping it in the center. Then we will save it and then go to print. Now we can see that it has come below. But the setting on the right side is not proper. So in that case, we will enlarge this particular line a bit. Now we can see that the size of the margin is a bit different. It is because we already had changed our margin. So for doing that, we will increase it a bit. So we can see that our print area is moving a bit. So for the betterment, we must save this file. After adjusting, if we go to print preview, we can see that it is in proper position now. So we will apply the same tricks in our footer. As because we had chosen the narrow option, that's why our location is a bit disbalanced. Now we will save this again. Now we can see it has come down a little bit. So in this way, we will practice this. As told earlier that we will face a little bit problem while designing. So we have to correct it as we want. Basically, our main function is the page layout. We have merged that and designed it. After that, if we face a little bit of difference in our final document, with a little smart work and tricks, we can adjust them and work on it. Thank you for listening to today's class with Shikhan.com.